Hello once again, all you lovely folk out there. I'm Babadap, and welcome back to Tubazuria. Last time, we ran into uh, Teresa and her brother Oscar. And then, uh, and Love said, said uh, took up for Eleanor telling them, telling everyone that she did a snitch. And I was like, whoa, Love said, that's a black dude, that's some, some black dude language. Man, where you, where, where you been from? Where are you, where you from, man? He didn't answer my question, but. It's alright because now this episode or also last That's time we uh, ran into um to the inn, one and all. We have found this girl Gr Grimoire who is a Moloch and uh, this episode we're going to Hararia where she has said to go. Also, this looks like a cave, but it is not. It's just a little nick in the wall. Oh here's a cave. Yoink. Oh, this is This is interesting. Holy crap. I wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and keep going, cause this looks like there's something good. We got treasure. We got a garish pink skirt. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and continue onward. Also, there's a skit. I apologize if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amanoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amenoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal! You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation from that shopkeeper! Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You got this whole somber ennui thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute, like me. Then how about I turn you into a product? Oh. Me? Really? Oh yes, I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. No, no, count me out! Oh, you're no fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amenoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean, I'm just a simple girl. <sighs> it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> Oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer, but it won't get you out of the doghouse. Run away. <laughs> just run. But man, yeah, this this grimoire, she can really find a, she can really make you feel like a douchebag or, you know, really feel bad about calling her, um, I don't know, insulting her. We don't even mean to insult her. Anyway, before we continue with the story, I want to go kill this thing over here. I feel like I just might die, but sometimes you gotta die to, in order to progress, you know? That probably came out wrong, but whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, it's uh, tri trial and error. That's that's uh, that's how I roll, you know. You know, I make I, I make mistakes a lot, guys. In uh, IRL, yeah. I mean, you, no, I'm sure you can already tell I make a lot of mistakes just by watching me play a game. Like, yeah, this guy, this guy makes mistakes all the time. I can tell, and that's true. I do. I definitely do that. That is a thing that I do all the time. It's uh, it's never a, a day does not go by where I do not make a mistake. I'll get to you in a second. I want to get these souls. And treasure. I think there's one more somewhere. I mean, obviously there's one more somewhere, but then I see where it is. But I'm, I'm not gonna get it. I don't care about all the treasure chests. I care about this Whoa, thing. A, a ha harpy go lucky. Winged, demi human, and a fiend. Whoa, this used to be a person. You can you can really tell because of the face and the body. That's kind of sad. Anyway, level 35, 41,293 HP, weakness, fire, resistance, water, and physical attacks. 
Positive element focus plus 30. Let's go. You even missed. Also, I'm going to die. Oh, yeah. Wait, that was what? 41,000? Cool. It's gonna be easy. Never mind. Oh, yeah. If we get at least 50s like that, or in the hundreds, I'll get them done. That was a considerably powerful enemy. Oh, yeah. Something about it is we don't get any EXP from it. We just, we just get mental EXP. Like, now we know what to do during a battle. I wonder though, do you get like the, a bad ending if you kill all the red, red, uh, red demons? Oh, I'm just, just wondering. Like, if these have, uh, different Take endings. Look at this. Nope. Cool. I knew this would be big. Oh, yeah. New skill, learn. I thought I said unlearned for a second. What happens when you read too fast? Mini Hoozle, moving right along. Is there a cable that way? No, I already checked. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Then let's go to this door. And here we are in the town. Rumors in Hararia Village. From what we heard in Isalt, demons are attacking villages, and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Despite that, no, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're what? awfully direct. You bench the fork, man. What the fork? <laughs> Hell, are you bench the heck, man? You can't be just saying stuff like that all blunt. I mean, you can't, obviously, because you just did, but dang. Have some dignity. No, uh, have some respect. Uh, show some respect? That's how you say it. So you guys, I don't care what you're, what you're saying. So, what then? We just gonna stick around here for no reason? There's no way forward. We're just here. Oh, of course. This happened before, I remember. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this, and then we're gonna go over here. We haven't rested in a while. So obviously, that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> went the wrong way. It's right here the whole time. Oh, there it is. Move out the way, guys. Come on. Can you not be so rude to a woman? Look at me. Look at me. I'm beautiful. Alright, here we go. Wait. There's a behind here. No, it's just the cats. Here it is. Oh. Well, I feel sheepish. Let's go in here. A item. Mine. Why, wow, you call this a hotel? Oh, this is it. Alright, cool. There's only one room, though. I'm just kind of sad. But it's okay. We could use we a place do. to stay. Any rooms open? Yep. Just that one, just the only cleaning, one. cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. Alright, time to start deciphering this scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grim can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher? You said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. All right. I'll teach you how to read ancient Averost. Thank you so much, teacher! We'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. Well, I see a velvet smile. I don't know, man. It's because she's so dark and so bitter. I, it's just, you know, it, it gives a nice, good turn to it, you know? You know what I mean? Well, I hope you know what I mean. 
Oh, I, oh gosh. I really got, I really sure do hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I don't know how to talk like that. It's hard. So she but that's why I'm doing this. Teacher. Well played, Laffy said. She wasn't so fond of ma'am. So I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the language he work. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would mm -hmm. seem. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight breakout here? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked, but... Whatever it is. If it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once, that's good enough for me. You really will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Yep, and that includes you. As I'm sure you've noticed. Dang, get wrecked, Eleanor. You ain't nobody, bitch. You ain't nobody, bitch. But my bitch, you my bitch, bitch. The fuck you mean, bitch? I'm gonna talk to you in a second. I want you. To, I want to talk to you last, cause you're pretty. All right, so we're gonna talk to Bian Bianfu or Aizen. No Aizen, cause no one cares about Bianfu, and everybody cares about Aizen. Look at him. Look at this guy. He looks like everybody cares about him. That's why I'm sitting alone. Think, just. Think. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so too. But ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself. But from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially <laughs> the worst. Wow, that got dark quick. It is. All right, well, Velvet does like old people. Now we know. Now we know how to keep old people away from Velvet. She might eat them and gain their knowledge. Now Magalu. Banning local religions. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenoch's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough. But straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ancient Avarost, you have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Er, uh, well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says... Sa, Popo, Mucho, Sanchon. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying, The parent hates tomatoes, the child eggplants. I doubt those have much to do with the Nominat. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. They're about to, they're about to hit it in a second. Here it comes. So like, San San, Pocho Pocho, Pocho Musan, Pocho Musan. Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Muson. Hmm, if that's repeated here, then the passage turns into the nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then. Hmm, hmm. 
It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. It's not about Enominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. I would be, actually. And honestly. I wonder if they've made any progress yet. Shall we go check on them? Of course not. Yeah, we do. 